Glenarmon is an academic school and it has been since its foundation in 1847. Tutoring at Glenarmond is absolutely key to the academic attainment that we want our pupils to achieve. We want everyone to achieve their potential. The tutoring is run through the house system, so the children work with a very small group of their peers within the house, and it is an academic tutor programme. So in that, we look at the skills that pupils will need to achieve in their examinations and life beyond the classroom. So we look at mind mapping, we look at resilience, we look at time management, which is, which is key and all in this very supportive program that run through the houses. Teaching and learning is our core purpose at Glenarmond and the pupils know that. We have a clear aim to be the hardest working school in the world and we are prepared to be quite radical in how we achieve that. So we've looked at developments such as the tracking data um, where we track pupils from the moment they come through the school and we look at their progress all the way through. We measure them against um, external benchmarks, against their own aspirations to ensure that they, are, that they push themselves. I'm tremendously proud of the colleagues that I work with and I'm very fortunate as other pupils to work with such a devoted group of people who have one goal in mind and that is to develop and to nurture the pupils that they have in front of them, whether that's in the boarding houses or in the classes. And I think that is one of the distinguishing features of Glenarmond, it's that supportive relationship between teacher and pupil. I've not really seen a school that offers that same relationship and that means we are single-minded in what we want our pupils to achieve when they leave here and that is for doors to stand open to them for whatever it is that they would like to do, whatever their dream is that they can follow that. Life is quite complicated I think for our young people nowadays. They have a virtual world that they have to be successful in as well as the real world and knowing yourself, liking yourself and having a quiet self-confidence is absolutely key to that. And I think if you have the two together, which is something that Glenarmond really fosters, then you really, you can achieve your dreams. And we see our pupils doing that, going on to achieve beyond their wildest dreams, really, in terms of where they get to their university destinations, the jobs that they go on to after university. The mobile phone ban has been really interesting because what it's about is an effective use of technology. Technology has a place in learning. It has a very valuable place. But what we don't want are pupils distracted by social media. We are about teaching and learning and in lessons we want pupils' attention 100% focused on what's happening in the classroom. And I think we're a happier school for it because you can hear the buzz in the dining hall when the pupils are talking to each other. And I think it also equips the pupils for later in life because they know how to make, again, good use of their time and their time management. It has been very well received. I was surprised at the time. I wasn't sure how they would react. But pupils, after an initial, an initial sort of flurry of concern, they really appreciated it. They like the, they like the fact they can concentrate on their lessons, they're not being distracted. And I think they feel freer as a result. And I think it's enabled them to perhaps leave their mobile phone behind in other situations as well.